Welcome back. Let's see this gate 2005 question. It was asked for two marks. I'll read out the statement. Consider a three word machine instruction. Add A R not comma B. The first operand which is destination uses indexed addressing mode with R not as index register. The second operand which is source uses the indexed sorry indirect addressing mode. A and B are memory addresses residing, residing in second and third words respectively. Okay. So we are given this is a three word instruction. Add A comma B or A R not comma B. And the first operand uses indexed addressing mode. The second one uses indirect addressing mode. So in indexed addressing mode, you are also given that this register R not use R not is the index register. What is what what is the meaning of this thing is R not will save the index of array that we want to access rather index of the element in array that we want to access this indexed mode. It's mostly used for array implementation. For example, you need to access this fourth element of array A. What you are going to do is you will save 4 in the index register and the base of array is specified in the instruction itself. So to calculate the effective address CPU will just add the base and the value saved in index register. For example, base is say 100 then this element is going to be 100 plus 4. 104. Anyways, let's read the statement. So let's read the remaining part of the question. The first word of the instruction specifies opcode, the registered, the index register designation and the source and destination addressing modes. During execution of add instruction, the two operands are added and stored in destination. First operand. The number of memory cycles needed during the execution cycle of this instruction is. Okay, so first of all, this indirect is going to take two addressing mode, uh, two memory accesses. Why? Let's see. Because indirect says whatever we have saved here in the third part of the instruction is the address of effective address. That obviously means at this address, you are going to find the effective address. So first memory access is going to fetch you this means go to this address in memory and get the effective address. So first memory access is used for this one. Now, whatever you have fetched, which is 600 is the effective address. Then you go to the effective address. That means here and get the actual operand. So actual operand in this case is 2 as I've shown here. Okay. So it requires two memory accesses that to specifically memory reads. Then this indexed addressing mode. You already know the effective address. In this case, you had to get the effective address from this address. But here effective address is already known to you. You just need to go to that memory address means uh, say here you just need to fetch this element 4 is index and 100 is base that is already known to you. Okay, so one memory read is required for this one. After that you will perform the addition say here it was saved 3 this operand is 2, this operand is 3, you add both of them and get 5. This addition is performed. Now, according to the question, they have said that whatever is the result of this addition must be saved in this operand only. That means you need to access the memory again, this time for a write, because you want to write the result in this operand, rather in this memory location which is fourth element of the array according to our diagram and assumptions. So you will be updating this element of the array 
and here you are going to say 5 2 plus 3 which is 5 now the answer is 4 how two memory uh, memory reads are required for fetching this one one memory read is required for fetching this one and one memory read sorry one memory write is going to be required for writing the result okay four is the answer now what is now one common mistake that students generally do they don't read the question carefully and in hurry you might skip this word they are asking only about the execution cycle of the instruction that means you don't need to consider the fetch fetch phase because CPU obviously needs to fetch the instruction first and this instruction being a three word instruction will require three memory accesses. So these three accesses which are required for fetching the instruction are not to be counted because they have clearly mentioned in the question that we are only required to calculate memory accesses or memory cycles that are required in execution phase. Okay, so the answer is 4.